Good morning. It is Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. And today I'm going to um, start doing the part two of my kitchen series. Dealing with or living with functioning with a tiny kitchen. So, I have a couple of questions for you first. Um, when you are in a home, usually like a house, and you have too much stuff, where do you put it? Um, in your garage? In your basement? In an attic? Maybe you put your stuff in a storage locker. What do you do when you have too much stuff that does not fit in your kitchen because your kitchen is so small? What you need to do is find other places to put your stuff. I'm talking about other rooms in your home. Like uh, a dining room. A living room. Um, you know, people have china cabinets. They have buffets. They have, you know, different, uh, my mom had these little um, chests with a drawer on top and then two two doors underneath and she, you know, she had three of those lined up. It, you know, looked like, a, you know, kind of like, it could have been like a buffet or something and she kept different things in there and, you know, not everyone has a pantry. I mean, pantry is wonderful. Sometimes keep stuff outside of your kitchen in another room. So here, let me show you some of the things that I have to keep my extra kitchen stuff that does not fit in the kitchen. This here is a um, buffet cabinet. Yes, it's a cabinet. It's, out, it's outside my kitchen. There's my kitchen. Let's, let's see just very quickly here. I have a couple of... Uh, you know, appliances that don't need to be out all the time. You know, a pizza cooker, a bread ba a bread machine. And this has, yeah, flat items that all can stand up and you can fit a lot in there. there trust me, there's a lot in that cabinet. And then over here, got a whole bunch of stuff that's still in their boxes. And sometimes storing stuff in their boxes is great because you can tetracize it and get all to fit in there really nice where you have this, not boxes, they gotta like balance and press against each other, but whatever. The point is to have, you know, an extra, you know, piece of furniture or something to uh, store stuff and it can uh, literally go in another room, a dining room. This here is in the side of my living room, but it's right under the kitchen counter, so it looks real nice there. I am gonna show you a little bit more. And under this counter, I have, let's see if I can back up, show you, there we go. I have a, uh, a two drawer plastic uh, container. Um, I got this years ago from Aldi, little tiny uh, drawers, and trust me, you can fit a lot, like all kinds of flat stuff. Um, Spice envelopes, tuna, um, jello, <laughs> little packages of pasta, uh, this like doodads for decorating things. Um, I've got hot pads. All kinds of stuff can fit in that in those little drawers. So don't look at thinking all oh, those drawers are so small. I'll never find anything to keep in there. Trust me. It holds a whole lot of stuff that does not have to take up room in my pantry. My pantry can be for bigger things. So let me show you the uh, final uh, drawer. So this here is a three drawer. This one actually faces the kitchen. I have it organized. Uh, this is uh, like a whole bunch of, you know, stuff that you keep, you would keep in your drawers and I have one, two drawers in my kitchen. That's it. So these are my drawers. So not everything has to be in your kitchen. You can find room or space somewhere else 
in your home and that can help you with some of the storage. Now, part three, I'll just do part three in here too, was um, I went on Facebook and asked people how many drawers do you have in your kitchen and, and basically what's in those drawers. And I got an answer back. <laughs> Let me show you where I keep all my stuff that I do not have in drawers because I don't have the drawers. So I'll show you where I keep all that stuff. The average was six drawers and one person had as many as 10 drawers in their kitchen. Oh, that would be wonderful. But anyway, so the top things that were in the drawers, the number one item was silverware. Of course, I think pretty much everybody keeps their, keeps their silverware in the kitchen and that is literally one of my drawers. Here, you can see I had to get these little containers from Dollar Store because the big plastic um, tray that holds all the silverware did not fit. This is a small drawer. It only fits three of these things from a Dollar, dollar Tree. I have forks, spoons, knives, and my serving items are right here that uh, I think Dollar Tree sells those little containers. I think there's three in a pack. So it's a good deal. It's money well spent. Number two, I'm looking at my notes. Okay, number two is uh, utensils and cooking things. Right here on my counter next to my coffee pot, I have this thing here. I have my spatulas, my spoon, a slotted spoon, my spaghetti thing, forks, whisk, brush. You know, I have like my cooking utensils there. It's uh, so I here ne next to the stove, so it's so uh, within easy reach. It's not real pretty being up on the counter, but you know what? You do what you have to do in order to fit all your stuff. So next, number three was <laughs> a junk drawer. Okay, junk drawer. I do not have a junk drawer because I believe that everything that's in a junk drawer can have another spot in the home. Like batteries. We have a bin that has light bulbs and batteries in it and that's in a closet. What else would be in a junk drawer? Maybe pens, pencils? That stuff can go in a desk. Twist ties. Twist ties I have here and here in my silverware drawer. I'm not sure what else can go in junk drawers, but pretty much, you know, if it's not a kitchen related item, I don't think it needs to be in the kitchen. You can find some other place for that. So get rid of your junk, clean it out, put it all away where it belongs. <sighs> so number four, towels and washcloths. This is going to be interesting. Right here on top of this drawer thing, I have my hand towels and a bin of washcloths. Two reasons they're here. One reason is because I use them in the kitchen. Uh, I, uh, you know, use washcloths to wash my dishes. I use the hand towels to dry my dishes. And let me show you something real quick. Here's a little trick for you. If you don't like hanging a towel here and having it falling all the time, put two corners together and clip it. You, any kind of clip. You can use a chip clip, a clothespin, a binder clip, you know, anything you want. And then as much as this thing moves around or the door opens and closes, it's not going to fall off and land on the floor. Second reason for keeping this stuff here so close to the kitchen is because this is where I use it. I do not have a linen closet to keep this stuff in. So I need to get creative and keep it where I'm going to use it. The fifth and last one, I know I said the average of six drawers, but I'm covering five things here, uh, is uh, hot pads and pot holders. And that is one of my drawers. This is hot pads and pot holders plus 
I have my sharp knives. So I have actually have like two things in this drawer. Oh, some chopsticks. But yeah, this is my hot pads and my sharp knives are in that drawer. I also have more hot pads over here in, in this drawer. I have more, you know, hot pad, you know, pot holders. I guess these are pot holders. And these are hot pads where you put the thing down, you put the hot pot on it. But So I have extra ones here if I ever need it. Got this one, this one was my mom's. I grew up with this one. I love these uh, ones that are... I don't know, braided or woven, whatever. These are really nice. And I like to use these here. I'm going to swing you over to here on my buffet. Here's another one of those right here. Very pretty. I can I put my candle on it so the candle isn't going to hurt my wood or whatever surface the candle is on when it starts getting low and getting hot and as you can see I decorated the top of my buffet with my round puzzles. I don't know if you can see this one it's kind of dark it's a it's a cabin with a boat very pretty and this one here is a date circus so here's an idea for you if you like it or don't like it whatever decorate with the, the puzzles that you finished and I've also Put two puzzles up here. There's a uh, nature waterfall, some red rocks. Here, this is uh, I think New York or something. But these two puzzles were so hard and took so long. I'll never do them again. That's why I hung them up. I can enjoy them, look at the pictures, but I'll never do them again. So. I hope this video helped you that if it doesn't fit in the kitchen, try to find someplace else to put it in your home. Hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, stay safe. God bless. Bye-bye.